Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. In today's video, we will brush up our skills on uh, price action and uh, we will use price action to analyze bank nifty nifty along with open interest data. So without wasting time, let's get started. So uh, first, let me tell you some basics of price action. So what is a trend? Okay. First, we'll try to understand what is a trend. Either it can be an uptrend or it can be a downtrend, right? So how do we identify an uptrend? Uptrend is when a price is making higher highs and higher lows and the price is moving in this direction. So this is called an uptrend. Okay, and then what is a downtrend? Downtrend is when a price is making lower highs, lower lows. Okay, so this is a downtrend. Okay, and there is accumulation phase where the market remains in this zone and moves from point to point. So this is called an accumulation zone. So if you see market has three cycles this is number one this is number two this is number three and then again this will come back to number four so it will look something like this just take a new one so your system will be something like this where you first will be in accumulation zone for some time and then you give a breakout from here and start moving up okay so this is your print and after reaching a certain point you will start coming down This is your downtrend and then again you will go into the accumulation zone. So these are the stages of any market. If you analyze the markets on price action you will definitely see this kind of patterns which I will show you also. Uh, okay and uh, these, this is the cycle of the market. Okay. and it's not necessary that after finishing this cycle it comes down immediately there can be a accumulation zone here as well in a smaller time frame okay so this is what market does it's 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 really simple to understand either is an accumulation zone or it is trending up trending down or in accumulation zone so this is this is how we define the market cycle now coming to the price action so let's quickly go to paintbrush and try to understand uh, how do we read the candlestick Japanese candlestick when it's a green candle or a red candle so assume that this is a green candle okay so green candle has uh, open at the bottom okay assume this to be say 100 100 is opening price closing price is about say 120 okay so price opened at 100 and closed at 120 that's the reason this formed as a green candle and it might have a high it might have a low low can be 90 high can be 140 so I hope this is clear green candle and then same thing for a red candle red candle has open on the top okay so this opened at a price say about uh, 100 it dropped to dropped and closed say around 80 and it made a low of about say 70 and it made a high of about 
120. Okay, so this is a composition of a, a red candle. So green and red candles clear. I hope this is what you need to see. Whenever you see a green candle, that means the price is moving up. Whenever you see a red candle, that means the price is moving down. So th these are very significant when you're reading charts. Okay, so now let's understand how do we use this very simple techniques i'm not going to show you too many patterns so i will show you a simple technique which you can use so whenever you see a um, let's take a fresh one whenever you see a red candle assume this is red candle okay and then a complete green candle takes out the red candle okay so this particular event is called as bull that means bullish 180 so there is 180 degree complete turn happened from this trend to this trend so you can get an entry of long above the high of this candle And short below this candle okay so this will be a stop loss here and uh, if it is a reverse then it will be stop loss on the reverse side so reverse also we will draw and show it to you so if it is a green candle taken out by a red candle completely so this is a short entry for you so you can you know buy a put or go short so the next candle if it breaks this low you go short and stop loss will be here so this is a very powerful uh, you know uh, technique you can watch this on any time frame and uh, it works more you know it works like uh, magic and uh, on a higher time frame assume that you are doing uh, you are seeing this pattern on a 5 minute time frame now the same pattern how it will look on a 10 minute time frame is what i will show you so on a 10 minute time frame the pattern will look something like this okay since a red bar has been completely taken out by a green bar next candle so that means this red has been completely taken out and this wick is left which is the which, which this can be either red or either green both okay so this particular time frame is about assuming you combining these two five minutes five minutes ten minutes it will look like this so look out for these kind of bars forming at uh, the most prominent positions like uh, moving average near 20 then you will be able to completely get or way below 20 way below 20 something like this happens you go long boom about this okay so this is this is the price action basic pattern which you can follow just stick to one thing and you know keep doing it uh, with a limited risk to reward in this pattern your uh, your target is let the market give you the target your stop loss is already defined below this so simple technique go long keep stop loss here and trail the stop loss till the time you reach till the top let's go to the chart now set any green candle completely taken over by a red candle this is bear 180 okay then you can expect the market whenever it breaks below this candle you can expect the market to come down and whenever the same thing happens in reverse like a red candle taken out by a green candle okay after this high you can expect the market to go up so with this are you getting a sense that we are moving up okay on nifty right let's look at the zones which we can plot on nifty on an hourly chart if you have noticed this is the zone which we mapped some time back uh, beginning of april and uh, price has given a breakout from there and started moving up so 
so you can see the concept if you see the concept in the long term so price is moving upward downward then consolidating then downward then moving upward consolidating moving further upward again consolidating you know this is a cycle of the market see the consolidation here consolidation from about june 21 till july one month if you see this on a daily time frame it can be a little higher so on a daily time frame also you can apply this same strategy like a red candle completely taken out by a green candle above the high you go long and your stop loss will be below this go long and trail your stop loss whenever a new peak forms like this then you can shift your stop loss here this is again a base it has consolidated here okay it it broke out from this level it came up to this level then again consolidated and again a breakout from this level then moved up now after this again it starts moving up you should shift stif, uh, shift your stop loss till here so this is how you simply trade the levels of the market so it's not very difficult to do now let's look at the levels if you want to mark levels for intraday you know how do you do that so simple technique i'll show you uh, let's use I'll delete all drawings for now. So let's use simple lines to do this. So in an hourly chart, we are identifying that this is the peak. Okay, we have a wick here, and then we identify what is the open or close of the previous candle. So this is this was the open of that candle which has given the high. So whenever price has come into this zone, after this it started getting rejection. So that means this is a good selling zone here lot of orders are pending now if you see where is the nearest reversal point assume that you are here and uh, this is not formed okay this is not formed so then what will be your next level this gap this gap would have been your next level right because there is a gap happened so this is a kind of a place where a lot of orders can be sitting and this gap has to be filled down so it dropped from there it consolidated in this zone okay broke the zone and then started again moving out of this zone so now still it is in this zone it has to move out of this zone so that it can continue the trend now where is the next resistance next resistance is definitely this one you can clearly see if it moves out of this zone it will clearly go till this zone okay so this is on nifty right now uh, let's look at bank nifty bank nifty also has similar kind of uh, so let's mark the high then mark the zones this is a big zone now what if it starts going up it will uh, have a resistance here and what if, if it breaks this zone <clears throat> where it will go so you can simply see that where is the maximum consolidation happened in the past now you can see this peak okay this was a previous peak okay 
see this okay this is one level and uh, this entire place is a level because you can see the price has consolidated in this place for quite some time so this is an entire zone if it falls below this there is a lot of support which is going to come at this level see this how many times it has been into this zone so you always need to pick up the zone where the price has spent the maximum time i only looked at this and mapped but if you go back keep scrolling and see how much time it has been spending in that zone at that level so you will understand the significance of that level so this way you can map your levels and if you are doing this on an intraday basis you can see it on 15 minutes time frame 15 minutes time frame see if the market takes out this high then this becomes your support and it'll start moving up from here okay and it will not go in a linear fashion because obviously that is the game that they don't want to give things easily to anybody who are trading in the market they will make it difficult and uh, only if you have patience and the right kind of uh, psychology then you'll be able to gain from the market it doesn't uh, you know mean that the moment you see a candle up high here uh, you start thinking that you're going to make money it's not going to happen like that there can be a green candle here and for next 15 minutes a red candle can come and uh, you know it can you know hover on, around in the same space for like quite half an hour then you give up finally and it might also break this level and again come down and you will you will say that oh it's going against me and you cut your position and the candle retraces back and closes above this level and starts moving up okay so i'm sure all of you who are trading in the market will uh, know this what i'm saying and you must have seen this happening multiple times with you so you have to be patient and you have to have the quantity and uh, stop loss proper and uh, quantity plays a major role if you trade with comfortable quantity you will always feel comfortable even if the market goes here and retraces back you will not panic and you will not cut your position you will hold and you know be in the game till it reaches to this top so that's how you have to trade and uh, overall market looks in a consolidation phase and it has to break about this levels uh, then only it can reach this level and if it consolidates at this level and then it can break out and form a new high so this you know after this level there are good support levels in bank nifty as well where the price has consolidated for longer period of time so definitely it's going to stay there let's look at this from a weekly time frame so weekly time frame also you will see the same kind of uh, trend applicable let's look at monthly time frame monthly time frame you can see it is consolidating in that same zone this entire zone the price is consolidating in a monthly chart monthly chart you can clearly see the trend of the market we are making always a higher low higher low higher low nowhere we have you know taken out the low which was formed earlier in a monthly chart so indian market is in a bull run it is still going up and don't get into panic if it falls into this zone it's already has taken a dip into this zone and moved up and this is a very powerful sign on a monthly time frame as i said this candle forms when you combine it on a lower time frame this is again a bull 180 candle okay so this is how you analyze the market and here it's a very good sign if this month april closes uh, like this then definitely it is going to create a new high so bigger the time frame and uh, same candlestick patterns can give you a lot of clarity smaller the time frame you will get a lot of false signals which which can confuse you like see see the kind of spike this candle gave and if you thought this is a entry then immediately next candle would have come till here and again it has gone up touched came back if you had a stop loss here it would have taken your stop loss again moved up again if you have kept a stop loss here again you would have panicked and cut your position here I'm get it more so it's not easy that you make money in terms of you know judging it right you have to be uh, having a great psychology great money management 
एंड स्पेशली इन बाइंग बाइंग यू हैव टू बी लाइक सुपर सुपर स्नाइपर एंट्रीज यू हैव टू टेक टेक एन एंट्री इमीडिएटली एग्जिट इमीडिएटली हीयर इवन इफ यू मिस बाई सेकेंड्स यू विल गो इन टू लॉस सी द स्पीड एट विच इट फॉल्स दिस इज ए थ्री मिनट टाइम फ्रेम ओके सो दिस इज अ हाईली स्ट्रेसफुल काइंड ऑफ ए ट्रेडिंग विच यू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट्स योर पर्सनल चॉइस बट यू नो ऑलवेज वर्क विथ स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड वर्क विथ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑप्शन हेडिंग सो दैट यू बिकम मोर रिलैक्सड एंड काइंड ऑफ जनरेट स्ट्रेस फ्री इनकम विच इज गुड फॉर यू इन द लॉन्ग रन बिकॉज यूर एज विल नॉट बी द सेम यूर माइंड सेट विल नॉट बी द सेम एंड यूर हेल्थ कंडीशन विल नॉट बी द सेम सो ऑलवेज थिंक अबाउट इट ओके सो लेट्स लुक एट द ओपन इंटरेस्ट क्विकली आई विल नॉट गो टेक मच ऑफ टाइम ऑन दिस just want to see what is the so let's look at this on a 60 minute time frame for nifty clearly you can see calls uh, puts are been written higher but the end of the day puts and calls both came together open interest so not much of any direction in this during the end of the day from 3 to 3:30 Okay, there is a crossover happened from calls to put by two o'clock, and from there slightly put writing happened, and after that it it, it is consolidating there only. So same thing could have happened with Bank Nifty. Yeah, Bank Nifty still calls are higher, but both are coming to a point where it's almost equal. So there can be a sideways momentum in on a Monday trade. Let's look at this. Uh, Cumulative OI change for Nifty calls and puts. You can see puts have risen. Puts are higher. Price is way above the VWAP. And call call OI is going lower and lower. So there can be a possibility that we can see some kind of up move. Uh, in the opening, and then it can consolidate there for Nifty. Bank Nifty is more uh, in confusion. It stays in the same range. Maybe it can be a volatile day for it. It can uh, it can be in a sideways zone. Okay, so that's the overall understanding on Bank Nifty and Nifty, and. Uh, on a weekly time frame if you have to see what stocks have given you an entry so since the market is going up i think there are a lot of stocks which will pop up so try and analyze using the techniques which i have shown so you'll be able to identify which stocks you should invest okay that's it for this week guys so i think we had a long video and thank you so much for watching and please do share subscribe and like my video so that i have enough motivation to keep training you on whatever uh, subjects you want me to cover thank you so much for watching have a great day